Welcome back to another episode of Plant-Based Ads. I'm Joey. Let me ask you to hit that like and subscribe button so you two will recommend these videos. We have a Patreon page set up. If you're interested in supporting the show, there'll be a link below on how you can do that. Let's get into today's recipe. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make my Instapot barbecue baked beans, but they're not baked because they're Instapot, so they're just Instapot barbecue beans. But they're kind of those baked beans that you would get in the can, right? You know, throughout this whole food plant-based journey for many years now, I make everything from scratch, I prepare Sunday night, I make beans every week. So it's not like we don't have beans in this house, but Tim keeps buying these cans of barbecue baked beans. And I'm just like, you gotta stop buying those. Those are full of junk. And he's like, I know, but I love them so much. I grew up on them, my mom made them, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, I gotta make these myself. So that's what I did. I searched the internet high and low. I took uh, different things from different recipes and, and converted them and, and just kept fine tuning it. So I got to the point where it was a really good whole food plant based version of the cans of barbecue baked beans. These are made with ingredients you have at home. You don't have to soak any beans, although you can. I'll put that in the recipe in case you want to use dry beans. I'm just using canned because I want to give you an example of what you can do based on what you already have at home. Uh, but when we put the recipe on the blog, uh, to go with this video. I'll have the directions for dry beans also, if that's what you want to do. All right, I can't wait to show this to you. It is such an easy recipe to make, and it is so delicious. When I make this recipe, we go through this in 48 hours for lunches uh, and snacks. So you might want to double the recipe, um, but you're absolutely going to want to make these on your weekly rotation. All right, sit back, check it out. I can't wait to show you what I did. Let's get to the food. To start making our beans, we're going to set our Instapot to saute. Then I'm going to use some water to saute my veggies. Remember, we're not using oil. You can water saute your veggies, you just have to keep an eye on them. Once the water starts steaming, it's time to add my aromatics. First in, one medium yellow diced onion. I'm going to make sure to get all that in there. Next, I'm using four to five cloves of garlic, all minced up. Then I'm going to grab my wooden spoon here and give this a little mixy mixy. I like to use a wooden spoon because it gets everything off the bottom. And I'm gonna let that cook for about four to five minutes until the onions are soft to translucent. After about five minutes, when the onions are nice and soft, we can press cancel on the Instapot and turn off the heat. It's time to add in the rest of the ingredients. Here I've got three 15 ounce cans of white beans and they have been drained and rinsed. I'm gonna try and get these out of the strainer without spilling any. Next I've got two teaspoons of dried mustard powder. Now I'm dumping in one half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt and then some fresh ground pepper. This is about a quarter of a teaspoon, I would say. I love a lot of fresh ground pepper, so do this to taste. Next, it's a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. And I'm using a sixth of a cup of maple syrup here. I'm just using half of the third of a cup measure. So about a sixth of a cup of maple syrup. Next, I've got a quarter of a cup of organic ketchup. Now I'm adding one quarter of a cup of molasses. And now it's one half a cup of barbecue sauce. Then I'm throwing in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And here I've got one teaspoon of liquid smoke. And finally, I'm adding three quarters of a cup of water. Now I'm gonna use my wooden spoon and make sure I get that all stirred and combined. And then I'm gonna put the lid on the Instapot, lock it in place, set the valve to sealing position. And I'm gonna set this to cook on manual pressure for eight minutes. And it's ready to go. Once the eight minutes is up, I'm gonna let it release naturally for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna let the rest of the steam out manually. I like to put a rag over this so it doesn't spray everywhere. As the steam comes to a stop, wait for that pin right there to drop back into the Instapot before you open the lid. There it goes right there, and that's your indication that there is no more steam left in the Instapot, you can open the lid. And now we've got our beautiful barbecue baked beans, and they smell amazing. Our next step is to try and reduce some of that liquid in there. We're gonna set the Instapot here back to saute and let it start getting hot. The heat will come up, it'll stop bubbling like this, and you'll want to get your wooden spoon and just stir this. And stir it, you know, every one or two minutes, just to keep it from sticking. And we're just going to keep stirring and keep letting it saute until it starts uh, cooking down. And you can see here, it's cooked down a lot, and right here, look at these beans, they're very syrupy, right? That's what we're looking for. We want the texture to be thick and syrupy. These look good to go. I'm just going to give this a quick taste here, and it's good. Now it's time to plate this up. I can't wait to eat. Here I've got a white plate here, which was a really bad idea when you're using white rice on camera. But I didn't want anything to take away from these beans. And then I had this wonderful plan of getting the beans on the plate nice and neat so it looked really good for the video. 
And then, of course, that didn't happen and we had a little spillage. Boy, that annoys me. All right, after a little cleanup here, uh, trying to get back on track here, I want this to look really nice. We're good to go. I just threw a little extra rice over that one spot and you can't tell the difference. Here we have it. Beautiful plate of Instant Pot barbecue baked beans. Yeah, baby. I am so ready to dig into this. Let's eat. All right, I'm so ready to dig into this. Check this out, guys. Look how beautiful this is. This is nice and thick. Um, it looks really hearty, and I mean, it smells absolutely amazing. The cool thing with this is when you look at it, it looks like it has the texture and thickness as if there's a lot of bad stuff in it, like bacon and some other stuff. And of course, it doesn't have any of that in it. So you can still get the look and the thickness of barbecue beans without any of the animal products. And this is a good example right here. I love that this is cooked in the Instant Pot. That just made it really easy and a lot less cleanup, right? Because it's just the one pot. I take the insert out and throw it in the sink and rinse it out and throw it in the dishwasher and that was it. All right, I'm gonna taste this. I know it's delicious, but let's give it a shot so you can kind of get the idea of it. All right, I'm gonna mute the sound like I normally do because I'm a loud eater. Mmm. Whoa. This is absolutely delicious. Mmm. Wow. Woo. You know, I love beans. I've made a lot of bean videos. You know how much I love pinto beans and refried beans and all that stuff? But if I had to choose one bean recipe that I could only eat that for the rest of my life, it would be a toss up between this and the Instant Pot uh, pinto beans. I would hate to have to choose that. I, I, I can't live in a world like that. But let me tell you, this is right up there with that. This to me is, you know, this is that one of those meals that you can make where people are like, oh, you're vegan and I don't eat vegan food. You know, what is it you could possibly make that would convince me to turn? This is one of those meals. It has everything that you had when you were a meat eater. You're not missing anything, right? And the fact that there's no oil in it, right, which makes it very low in fat, whatever fat's in the beans, that's it. That's what you get. I mean, that's a pretty sweet deal, right? <laughs> All right, that's our video for today. Instapot barbecue baked beans that aren't really baked because they're in the Instapot. Really simple to make. You need to try these, especially in the winter right now. It's really comforting. Hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? We've got barbecue baked beans. Yes, they're not baked. Hit that subscribe button and click that bell. You'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please leave a comment below. Do you like baked beans? Uh, do you still buy the canned beans? If you do, I want you to try this recipe and then let me know your thoughts on it because you're one of the people that I'm really, I don't eat canned beans, uh, barbecue canned beans. I never did. Tim did and he loves this. I want you to tell me, I mean, is this what you're looking for when you look for barbecued uh, beans in the can? I mean, does this work for you? Try it, let me know. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>